Is there actually ancient technology revealed within the pages of the Holy Bible? What I'm about to share with you might actually be what I think is groundbreaking understanding of rereading the Bible from a completely different point of view. Now, I'm not talking about religiously or dogmatically or even in a church sense. I'm talking about completely flipping it on its end and re-examining it as what it might very well be, which is documentation, esotericism, and people's experiences with otherworldly beings. No, I'm not talking about the supreme being or consciousness of the universe here, but what people misconstrued as God or gods being actual other entities from another realm, another world, or even another planet system. While this is not a new theory, it is called ancient astronaut theory, and it can be applied to any ancient text. However, I do think it tracks, especially in light of things we see in even the Old Testament with the Ark of the Covenant and the idea that this could communicate from their God to them during this time and place. It was considered a holy object that could not be touched without certain preparedness to touch it, or to even move it with certain types of wood, etc. And literally, it talked about fire going in the nose of those who would touch it. That sounds like an electrical current entering the body. This device was even used at the walls of Jericho to help the walls of Jericho come down, and they had to go around the city multiple times, blowing the shofars, and then it alludes to the idea that maybe this device was some sort of resonance device that helped pick up that frequency, magnify it, to help take the walls down. Not to mention, all through the Bible are woven in the lore, legend, and mythos of the fallen angels or the watcher class of angels who allegedly descended upon Mount Hermon, decided to take wives from the daughters of men, a.k.a. genetically modify the human species in a way that was not controlled as intended by the original deity. When I say the original deity, I am talking about what a lot of people consider to be God. However, when we look closer, it seems like this particular deity has a lot more human qualities than we might be comfortable to admit. Qualities that might even be otherworldly if we're willing to look closer. Hey, my name's Cub, and I explore the supernatural every single day. If you want to unlock the matrix and discover your authentic mythos, give me a follow. And let me know what you think.